Yes, great. Okay, so this is our weapon. Uh, he's holding with two hands, so we have two eye keys, and I want to give it a, a weight a little bit. So it has some kind of delay. And yeah, so we, we have it on the left side, the pivot, so this might cause an issue. I will try to um, solve that if, if it, it does. So first of all, let's create physics constraint and let me quickly sh sh explain what we have here as properties. So first of all, when you create a constraint, we see it here, we can select it. It is being created for each bone. If we select multiple bones, it will create be created for each of them. So we have simulate button, which enables or disables physics. We have translate, translate X and translate uh, Y. Uh, this means it only applies here and similarly on the other properties. So physics will be applied only there. Uh, FPS is pretty much self-explanatory. Inertia is the one who um, delays the pose, the e e so it points out to the old pose. Uh, let me show it to you actually. So if I have this bone and I have uh, physics on it, I'm going to disable strength so you clearly see what inertia is doing. Let's translate and, and everything. So if I move it down, you will see it should scale down because it, it tries to be uh, um, there where it was beforehand. If I scale up, it will be stretching. And the reason why it's not going back because we don't have strength. The strength is the force that brings it to the new unconstrained position. So I, if I give strength value, you will see it going up and getting to its original length. So if I turn off strength and we have inertia, wherever I move, you will see it, it tries to point out to the place where it was previously. So inertia is, yeah, higher inertia, more it will look to that point. Uh, I'm pretty sure I do some misexplanation here. You, I hope you can forgive me. I also learn right now. So let's delete this. And we have this, we have its constraint. Uh, right now, if I have a translate and rotation enabled, we can see it working. I will reset constraint, so we have also IQ working. And it's too slow. So the reason is, is too slow is because we have <coughs> um, dumping, which uh, slows down uh, oscillation and pretty much slows down the uh, recovery um, if I reduce it too much it will behave like a spring so let's reduce it here we need higher strengths so it brings uh, back to uh, unconstrained pose uh, right away and let's reduce the inertia I don't want this uh, too much delay a little bit just a little bit uh, I think it's uh, recovering still too slow so for that, maybe we can reduce the mass. So the mass is the one who is responsible for slowing down the acceleration when he uh, moves back to the unconstrained pose. So whenever I move object, if we have higher mass, it will uh, come to that pose slowly. If we have less mass, it will right away go to that pose. I mean, we have a uh, delay that inertia responsible is inertia. And then we have strength that brings back to that pose. But mass is the one who makes, um, who works with the strength. And so higher is mass, slower it, it will be there. Oh, explaining is hard when, when I also figure out what is working how okay so this is something I, I'm I'm fine with it maybe I will also create uh, constraint for clothes should not be that hard
and we can go and create some constraints here on the chest delaying it as well but this is not something I'm looking for now so we can go ahead and do it for like head every body part but right now uh, let me quickly do it I just need rotation I think um, very little very little little inertia higher strength yeah something like this okay and now I would like to check how our animation are working you can see there is pretty much no impact on it um, I will go to let's go with the uh, idle I will go to disable all the physics and see if that changes something and I have fear that it, it won't do any much of difference here so the difference will be that if with physics you would do much less animation because right now we already have animated all the secondary object so this is without physics and this is with physics pretty much very little uh, thing so but again the benefit of it that you would not need to animate all these parts because right now they are animated and that animation is actually um, covering that all physics okay I will move to the next character now and we'll try to make an exaggerated uh, physics here this is our next character and for this character I will also try to uh, add an animation I mean um, make an animation here where the cape is waving uh, in the wind so we can pretty much set all uh, like bones to one, uh, one type of constraint I mean uh, to constraint that has a similar properties let's try it uh, things are getting broken because we have a lot of inheritance disabled which is which is an issue right now but I will do one by one This is something I also do uh, first time, so it might work or might not. So I have a, I don't see constraints what is wrong hey. that's that's something new so they override have no idea what's happening I think I need to report this working now let's try with the legs again working now great uh, 
okay i think when i yeah hit control z everything is getting reset which is sad and i can't actually redo it it's not being written so it clearly needs to be reported oh let's do the cave and maybe we have energy to do the rest so we have the cave and I'm happy that it's rigged a uh, simple way. Let's simulate it, simulate translate, rotation, and another translate. Okay, we need to remove translate from the base bones, the ones that are connected to the shoulders. Yeah, I'm happy with this. Maybe too much stretching. So one thing that we can actually uh, keep this for. Yeah, we can keep this for uh, rotation. But then create another one, another one uh, set of constraints that we will use for translation. I'm just showing it that this is possible because right now I, I can reduce the value so it's not stretching that much. So we will have a nice uh, rotation delay, but then a little effect on the translation. Yeah, so, um, Answering to the questions, uh, in this version we won't be able to bake our animations, uh, physics on the animation, and we won't be able to export uh, video or any any materials like uh, rendered. We will only be able to export JSON, and everything else will be uh, taken care in the game engine. So, using official runtimes, obviously. So that's um, a question a lot of people are asking. Right now I will do an animation where we have wind affecting this. Okay. So the moment I add wind here you can see uh, that it will, uh, let's make it this way. So it, it only moves there. So I can't actually animate it. We see keys, but it's not working right now. So I was waiting to them to be workable, keyable, and then show it to you. But right now we can just uh, use the mix value because it, it is keyable right now. So I will mix it and a high value and do something like this i'm doing very quick job here so what i'm doing is i'm turning on turn uh, dialing down physics up down up so i don't um, animate the wind actually I just turn off physics and turn on turn it on uh, I'm checking the chart Um, I, I don't know any uh, short cartoons made with spine. I mean, might, might see some of them, but it's clearly a lot of struggle working with big timelines and different pipelines. So, so this is the physics animated where we have wind. I can try to offset maybe keys a little bit. And let's play. 
So this is pretty much just physics. I don't animate the bones. To animate the bones, we, we, we can just rotate them. This is not rotation keys, as you can see. Just physics turning on and off. Sadly, I can't only turn on and off the wind, but this is the one that uh, I think uh, we can get close to. Yeah. And let's delete the keys and see if we can delete also the wind. And I will do another attempt to um, avoid hitting any uh, control Z I will do everything else and then the chest let's also do that oh god I think I hit again no it's cool I will just pause it back to avoid uh, breaking all the physics okay we have a lot of constraints now um this is for cape i will save them under uh, under number and this is for the body parts and this is also for cape yeah Okay, so let's try to uniformly uh, set properties for all this set, making them simil similar. So we don't want to break them from the joints, so we will only use rotation. And I want to give them a quick movement. I don't want them to delay too much. Maybe the upper legs might go. But let's uh, right now give low inertia that means they will um, delay a little and then higher strength that means it will come back to uh, unconstrained pose which means without physics and then uh, less mass so it comes back quickly this should be it I think we can reduce it here even further I can see we have problems here um, because we have rotation disabled inheritance we, we are clearly facing some problems here on the neck and head part so that can be fixed by just turning on uh, inheritance as by default or maybe if you want to keep them maybe you can come here and uh, move it back I think the head is is behaving the opposite way yeah like this maybe 
and I would like to see how um, the bridging animation works. She looks much more relaxed and uncontrollable, which I really don't like. It's like uh, the hand is clearly broken. Maybe I should not have done it on the fingers. Okay. Maybe higher value here. Okay, and lastly, uh, let's give uh, nice physics to the wings. Mm, rotation, translate, translate, but I will remove translate from the from these ones. I don't want them to be detached from the helmet and this one and this one mm. I will try to reset constraints No. Too Lucy. And maybe we want less inertia, high strength, less mass. We would have much less problems if I did not have any bones that is not inheriting rotation. I will try to see animations. Now I will just turn delete all the constraints and see if that affects somehow. We still might see a similar result because uh, if uh, this character is clearly animated and spent a lot of time here. So this is with physics and well, actually in preview window we would see without physics. Maybe we can compare it like this. So on the left is with physics, on the right is without physics. Yeah, I can see that fingers are different right now and the hand is too much uncontrollable. Yeah, I like the right version. Mm, the left one is, is too weak for me. It's like the body is very relaxed. Uh, no, Fabiano answering to your question, preview window doesn't show physics in any way right now. I think it just works. Uh yeah, anyway, they avoided to show it there. I have no idea why. Okay, so it's good that we can compare them. I see very little difference, but uh, what is main benefit of using physics is that I already spent a lot of time animating this character so that's the difference because with physics I will show you uh, just remove all the keys and see how it would look if we did not animate all these extra parts mm. 
removing them. So on the left you see very simple animation up and down and still physics is working. If I just keep these two bones animated and remove everything else so this is just two timelines animated you can see up and down so that's the benefit so you you can spend like uh, maybe 20 minutes setting up the physics and five minutes to just animate up and down and maybe another 10 minutes to add an extra layer of animation maybe on the wings or whatever okay moving forward what do we have more here okay here we have a little bit more a different different challenge i want to make the physics on the anchor and the chain and it has a pivot on the shoulder which i want to keep and we have chain all over the body and i would also like to make physics to this so this is important because um yeah, well, normally we spend a lot of time just animating these, these chains. No, I would uh, personally avoid uh, adding physics to the hands, legs, or whatever. Maybe uh, to the antennas, but everything else is is nice to have under control. So we don't have that kind of puppet-looking animation where everything is uh, loose and there is no life in the character. I want to feel that some muscles are tense, some muscles are under control, etc. So right now we have this setup. You can see we have uh, Nike here. And this bone contains two bones. There is no pad. And this, the, the bigger uh, leg of the Nike contains these three bones. So it's pretty much simple setup that Aiki is just bending each Aiki wing uh, leg has two several bones we don't have any part so right away I will start from this bone this is the main whenever we move there is a very mm, massive weight on the tip of the anchor let's create it simulate uh, no rotation just rot uh, we'll use only rotation I don't want to shift from the shoulder and let's go with default setup it's pretty much not going to look nice um, resetting and this works the opposite way so because rotation the bone is uh, from left to right positioned like that it works um, the opposite so maybe we can shift it by setting the mix to minus 100 so when I move it down the tip is heavier and it would delay yeah Um, I want it to go back very quickly so for that higher strength less mass and maybe less inertia too much of uh, offset yeah I want to try also the scale it's gonna break things but let's try it and maybe translate um, no. clearly not working in favor of us okay so this is um, nice And the other thing I would like to have some kind of <coughs> weight in the middle of the chain so whenever I move the character it also uh, works plays that way 
but this setup I clearly cannot do it mm -hmm. I need to change it a little bit I'm thinking we could go and create path constraint and move that uh, handles of the path in in physics but maybe there is an easy way i think the easiest way would be just remove all these bones actually then um, in the heap I will create a bone that I, I consider the place that I want to move I want to say that center of mass of the chain but maybe I'm wrong so but the, but there is a feeling that it should be somewhere here and also let's bind it to here and bind it to here I guess So we have this chain, which is stretching, which I don't like, but at least it's very simple setup. And translate, I don't want rotation. Let's keep it hanging. Moving. Okay, I think it can work just um, less damping, maybe there is a little bit there should be a little bit of oscillation like shaking waving something like this mm, to jello like higher damping and this looks very so slow to me yeah so this is some kind of setup I would like to see and I can go ahead and make the similar approach on the on this chain let me know if I should do it so is this just one single physics and no division between screens no it, it's just one for the chain Right now we have two of them, two constraints, for the anchor and for the hips, which is this spawn. I called it hips automatically. But yeah, I, I, I try to avoid complex setups. I mean, I could go with path constraint and everything. But see, this works. And I have time to also make for this chain. But I think I will leave it for now maybe um, just make constraint for antennas mm. Yeah.
Yeah, only one physics constraint. They uh, they delivered it in this, and I don't think they will uh, bring other constraints. Yeah, only one physics constraint which you can see here, and they have like a simple uh, other features like pixel perfect and pixel snapping and some other uh, stuff but this is the main update okay mm, I think we should move to the next character and which would be let's go with this we have four bones on the head it's going to be pretty simple let's just do it right away physics constraint selecting all um, just translate maybe a little dumping I mean uh, a solution strength higher less less too jello like so okay it is um, very lightweight regarding to performance answering to Tulga uh, I got confirmed from developers that it is even lighter than the other constraints so no worries let's make some tentacles and they promise some organizational tools here um, maybe linking some constraints together or folders or general variables like global variables for wind or gravity something nothing is promised yet but there will be some cool improvements in the final beta that will be available for everybody okay so I want rotation translate I am very uh, not fond of the shear or scale. I really am scared to use them. Whenever I use them, they really get distorted a lot. So you might notice that I don't mostly use them. Let's give them some time. I'm, I'm trying them in offline, but yeah, nothing to show here. Okay. This is too extreme. Um, let's remove. constraints uh, translate values from here so they don't get detached You can see some jittering 
here, but it's gonna be very smooth right now. I think, mm, yeah, they promise that it's going to be smooth because sometimes it is smooth. You can see right now it is smooth, but sometimes it, it start behaving uh, not smooth. Yeah, so with setting up this physics to this character, you pretty much uh, free up a lot of time for from you just working on these tentacles. I mean, there might be some moments where you do actually uh, add some touch to this. Uh, you can see we have some specific animations to the tentacles um, because at this moment I wanted it to be straight. So maybe in that moment we can go ahead and make uh, and hide physics. Yeah, so we have control over that. I love it. I love how a little conflict it has actually with the animation that is done without considering the physics. It's pretty much working as, as a final product. I really love it. Mm. This is not cool. I remember I have done a lot of posing here with the tentacles but yeah we can turn off it here let's see what else we have we have this character with this character I want to see if we can have this 3d under uh, physics and this 3d I guess and this 3d also my 3d so let me put them all into under physics constraint um, translate only um, let's give higher value to the shields It works, but I don't think I would use it. Let's see. It still works fine with the animation. I don't see the difference. Uh, maybe we can try to give uh, weight to the body. So whenever we move, they like uh, show that it's super heavy. Maybe we can do that. So I will work on the chest and waist to try to make them heavy. Translate, rotation, okay, let's see. So we need a little offset and high strength so it brings back quickly. 
maybe a little uh, shaking there maybe and let's leave the mass for now no I think I worked on one of them just yeah so higher strength and something like this still not something I was looking for I think we should see different result yeah maybe something like this so you can see that whenever we move it there is a shaking on the metal pieces this will be very useful when we actually make the walking animation let's see still I don't see much of a difference Okay, I will try to remove all the shaking because I do have shaking here. Let's see where I did add it here. I'm removing that. And see if we can see that physics applying here. I will compare them with the preview window. In preview window, we um, don't see physics at the moment. So on the left is with physics, on the right without physics. Uh, I have, I don't see anything. Maybe the animation is uh, slow, that's why it, it actually doesn't affect much. Still, I'm not happy with this. Mm, but the main reason is because uh, the animation already is done and yeah it pretty much like overlaps with the physics and we don't see much of the physics playing here um, let's see what else I will try that with this character maybe that will show us a little bit more um, Okay, so what I want, uh, I want physics on these springs. Let's try with uh, uh, with these bones that we have right now, but I think it won't work. seems working yeah I like it let's do the same here 
In this case, we will have two constraints, but if we add one or two bone here and have them, physics, it will look much nicer, I think. But right now I will go with this setup. fine. I don't see any issues here. Yeah, so springs are fine. Similar springs can be used here on the ears. Um, higher strength, lower dumping, less mass. Too broken. I don't like this. Maybe in animation it will look nice, actually. I don't know. Yeah, I can see that effect on the arms right now. Maybe, maybe this uh, benefits us. If we uh, actually make them... Mm, come back to unconstrained state even faster. And higher dumping, I don't want that much of... clearly looks like a crazy robot maybe we, we could use that with less effect maybe Oh, 
let's see how this affects overall animation yeah I can see uh, Brit animation actually a little bit improved because I see that effect on all the body I mean it, it's a little bit exaggerated I would dial it down a little bit but I can see that it works because making animations looking robotic it's, it's not really an easy thing to do you need to uh, have an experience doing that okay no this is clearly not looking good so you see uh, some animations might need it to be uh, reduced so let's try that actually Yeah, you can see we have reduced it. Cool. Okay, I like how it works on this character actually. And the last one, which is the last one, this guy. What I wanted to do here is to solve this clothes hanging from the arms a similar way as the springs but here we have different material we'll need to do it a different way okay and solve this hood and this hanging cloth and maybe this one uh, we have pretty much a lot of the hood here we also have earrings okay I don't like because most of the thing is doing this bone so the, uh, this bone is pretty much sitting there so maybe we could go ahead and delete that bone with this one uh, let's move this here and create I'm thinking where should I create it actually I will try like this for now not sure because pretty much the same result might be
to put disable rotation I see them are they are rotating no I need more thinking here I think the easiest way was to use the original rig better just one bone here and the other one not working i mean the other one also works but only if we use this chest bone you can see it actually works here okay let's do the same here rotation high strength Bye, Fabiano. Yeah, you can see only this bone is, is doing all the stuff. The other bone is just there. So the other bone will work when we actually move the chest. I will try Sherix and Skellix here. Let's see. I mean, rotation wouldn't be bad also. Uh, maybe translate I don't think it will work yeah it works
Ok. working well the main uh, problem or the main thing that I miss is that that bones don't have collision in a way they are not aware of the other bones so I mean, uh, right now I don't know a way where I can um, slow down the cloth whenever it touches the tail. So if we had some kind of spring, for example, uh, we move it up and then I have a spring attached here from cloth to the tail and the closer it goes to the tail it would slow down would slow down because right now it clearly can enter the tail so I need to do key framing so um, oh and I forgot this one I agree uh, I mean whatever I do here is just to show pretty much close way it works so you would have to work with this uh, 